What's up, everybody, and welcome back to A Beer A Day with TK. As it's a Wednesday, I'm going to do a WTF Wednesday review. For those of you who may be new to the channel, WTF Wednesday is a one day a week when I do something I normally wouldn't on the channel. Sometimes that means I do stuff from the big boys like Bud Miller and Coors. Sometimes I try interesting offerings from microbreweries. And other times I've been trying to do some more international flair. So today this falls into the second category. This is from Barbarian Brewing out of Boise, Idaho. And this is Yabba Dabba Smoothie. Now, this is a dessert Berliner style beer. So I guess Berliner Weiss. With fruity pebbles, vanilla frozen yogurt, lemon, lime, cherry, and orange. That's got a lot going on. Um, I don't know. I think sour beers, I'm not a super huge fan of like the smoogies and all that kind of crap. Because in my mind, it's not really beer. I mean, I know it is technically, but I kind of view them as one-off novelty beers. I don't mind trying them. And again, I don't mind some sours. I don't mind some fruity stuff. But it's not something you want to sit down and drink a six-pack of while you're watching the Eagles game, right? So, you know, I kind of keep that in mind when I grade these and when I when I drink them. Um, it says this is from 8 to 23 So we're now in late November. So this is only a couple months old. Keep cold at all times. And this was actually acquired by the Ginger Yeti while he was on tour, I guess, a couple months back. Um, he picked these up. Now, what's interesting is I know he picked up a bunch from Barbarian. A lot of them happen to be sours. And he had them in a bag at the foot of his bunk on the tour bus, and they exploded. So I think he had sour beer that exploded all over his feet while he was sleeping and all over the bed. Now, luckily, it was the end of the tour, so I don't think he had to deal with it for too long. But I appreciate his suffering to acquire this beer, and I appreciate you, know, appreciate you bringing it back, bro. So on the front of it, it says Dessert Berliner Weiss Series, Bavarian Brewing. And it looks like it's some kind of pie, obviously. We see some lemons on the can. And maybe it's supposed to be like a lemon meringue pie. Uh, but based on what it says here, again, vanilla frozen yogurt, lemon, lime, cherry, orange, um, and fruity pebbles. I'm not a fruity pebbles fan. I'm weird with cereal. I tend to like Cheerios, Rice Krispies, Raisin Bran, which are kind of old man boring cereals. But then Apple Jacks are my absolute favorite. And Apple Jacks are one of my favorite things on the planet. Fruity pebbles... I don't know. They're just fruity Rice Krispies, in my opinion. I don't really eat them, but we'll see how this goes down. I'm hoping this doesn't explode everywhere. Go to my Browery Plossy glass from Geiselhoring in Germany. I picked this up from uh, the Coleman's Military Surplus. If you go on there, they have some pretty cool deals on German beer glasses. Now, you don't get to pick what you get, so it's kind of whatever shows up. Um, but I've gotten some cool glasses from there for really good prices. This thing looks thick just pouring it. The color, I'm not even breaking out my Brew HQ chart because this is not on it, dude. So, um, stats-wise, 5% ABV, 15 IBUs, 402 on untap, very good. Beer Advocate, 392, surprises me. Beer Advocate tends to shit on beers like this because a lot of the beer purists don't view these as beer, kind of myself included. I like them, you know, again, as a here and there kind of thing. Oh, my God. This is super interesting. I wish I had another phone with me to take a photo. The color here is kind of like a plum color purplish. The head is wild. It's about a thumb's worth. Same kind of color, but it's these big, they almost look like blisters the size of these bubbles that are popping up here. It reminds me of those ones, what was that Virginia, the Virginia brewery that did something, I guess it was like a cheesecake beer I did. Uh, Ouzelfinch. It's the only other time I've seen the head look like this, but it, it straight looks like if you've been running and you got blisters. I don't know if, I, if that's particularly enticing, but that's what it looks like. <laughs> um, other stats, I don't have a whole lot to go on, so let's give it a smell. It smells fruity. Now, it doesn't really smell sour. I'm kind of a fan of Berliner Weisses. I know it's a style that fell out of vogue. I think it, I think I read somewhere that it almost died the style, and then they bought it back and it became popular again. I'm not really getting much funk from it or anything like that for a sour style beer. Yeah, let's go in. I got a feeling this thing is going to be thick and viscous. Let's see. This is probably sacrilege or a crime in Germany drinking this out of a German glass. I would say the body's almost throwing me off a bit. I would say it's fuller 
not like it's completely heavy, but fuller. Definitely some viscousness to it. You know there's something in it. Um, full, I'll just go with full bodied. Flavors, fruity. It's almost like it starts off with like a nondescript fruitiness, which I'm guessing maybe is the fruity pebbles. And then it kind of gives way to like a citrusy, slight tartness, which would probably be, I would say lemon and orange is what you kind of pick up. You do pick up the cherry too. What else do they say they have? Vanilla. I don't know that I'm getting the vanilla. I think you get like kind of nondescript fruitiness. Definitely big up lemon, cherry and orange. Says lime too. Lemon and lime, I guess, have mixed together with orange. Could kind of blend into a citrusy kind of taste. But you definitely pick up distinct cherry. I think lemon and orange. The lime, not as much. The vanilla, not as much. It's pretty good. Um, again, you can see the the silt or whatever we want to call it, the deposits left by this. It's not traditional lacing because this is bits of fruit. Like you can see the bits of fruit and, and that kind of stuff on the sides of it. Um, it's a really good beer. This is a really nice taste to it. Um, calling it a Berliner Weiss is probably a bit of a, of a leap. It's probably being a bit generous. I get because it has that slight tartness to it. You know, it's kind of of that style. Um, when I call it a Berliner Weiss, no. But I would bet the folks at Barbarian would also say they're kind of using that term a little a little bit liberally. Um, is it a nice dessert sour, like a fruity sour? Yeah. Uh, now, again, sour, maybe not sour, tart. So a fruity tart beer, yeah. A little bit of body to it. You pick up those nice fruity flavors. It's delicious. Now, is this something I would want a six-pack of? No, it's not. It's something I'd like to try one of and then move on to something different. But for what it is, I think for the most part, this delivers, um, is tasty. And as it's about, actually, I think it's just over three months old, which is good. So it doesn't explode in my fridge. Um, the flavors persisted. It tastes good. It doesn't taste like it started to go off. So I quite dig this. Now, if you don't really like sours or, or tart beers, maybe it's not for you. Or if you think, good Lord, this is an abomination, not a beer, it's probably not for you. Um, but if you're willing to try some different things, I would say Yabba Dabba Smoothie gets a thumbs up. Um, I would have another one of these. Again, wouldn't want a bunch, but I like it. I think it's a very good beer. Well made. The fruit comes here. It's a natural fruit taste. It tastes really good. So big thumbs up for me. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Hit that like button. If you want to see more videos like this, please hit subscribe. And as always, if you got any comments or questions, jump in down below. Have you had this one, Yabba Dabba Smoothie? Or have you had any other barbarian beers? I know Anderson absolutely loves this brewery and tries to bring them back whenever he goes through Idaho. We've even talked about going out to visit Idaho just to hit this brewery. I've always wanted to go there because I'm a bit of a crazy person. I want to live in the mountains by myself. But I don't know. If I hit the brewery on the trip, it might be well worth it. Hey, till next time. Cheers.